New towers and commercial buildings are always sprouting up around Calgary, and once they're open, each one needs a specialized manager with specific training in power engineering. In Alberta and across Canada, there's a severe shortage of people with those skills. But today, 19 Calgary graduates, who are all new Canadians, are putting a dent in that demand. Jan Masalita is one of them. He's graduating from the Fast Track 5th Class Power Engineer and Building Operator Training Program offered by the Calgary Catholic Immigration Society. Michelle Veldhoen helped develop the new course, and they join me in the studio this afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Well, this is an exciting day for uh, both of you. Graduation day. Uh, Michelle, uh, why don't you start off by telling us about the program? Who's it for and what's involved? Sure. All right. Our program is, first of all, for new Canadians coming to Canada and looking to establish new careers. Many of them have backgrounds, technical backgrounds already, engineering backgrounds, um, but aren't necessarily able to break into that. So we at CCIS take those people and we retool them and get them ready for a career here. One of the key components of this program is that we partnered with the big companies in the building operations field, the real estate, uh, commercial real estate building operations industry. They actually worked right from the ground up with our team designing the program. They helped us select the the candidates. We had 395 individuals apply for wow. our 20 positions. So very, very competitive. Oh, extremely competitive. So our partners provided a six-week job placement experience for all of our students as part of the program. So, Jan, uh, congratulations on completing that program. And, and as Michelle was mentioning, very competitive to get into it in the first place. So what what was your background coming into the power engineer training? Okay. Uh, well, thank you. For- First, um, my background is a chemical engineer. I'm back in the Philippines and um, came here in Canada last year, came with my family. And uh, again, fortunately, my credentials are not recognized here in Canada. So um, I heard about the CCIS a training program, and they were looking for uh, good building operators downtown. So I applied for it. Yeah, it was very competitive. Um, about two months, um, took some series of interviews and a couple exams. And fortunately, I was a fortunate few who made it. Yeah, it was, it was, it was worth it. You know, right now, I'm telling you, I just signed an offer this morning from Avis and Young. Oh, well, congratulations. Yeah. Well, That's fantastic. Yeah. And, and was that as a result of, of your job placement, or, or how did that work? Partly, yeah, because, because I, I was able to gain experience from my job placement. And that kind of sub- substantiate my resume, and you know, it, it helped me on the, on, the, on the application. And they see me fit with my technical background back home, so it was okay. You're an engineer by training. What brought you to Canada? Why did you decide to come? Well, good question. Um, well, me and my wife, we we decided that it would be best for our child to grow up here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and so, when you came to Canada and you discovered that uh, your qualifications as an engineer wouldn't be recognized, um, were you discouraged, or, or what was that process like uh, in finding this program? Well, it was really confusing at first, you know, not knowing where to go. Um, but I. And until now, I, I still want to know how, how to get into the chemical engineering sure. job in my line of work. But, you know, considering there, every year there are new graduates, mm-hmm. Canadian graduates, sure. right? Preferably, they would prefer those graduates than new immigrants. So, but, you know, I'm excited with this new career at the CCIS. Uh, you know, it gives us a really good start. Uh, to integrate in, in, in Canada here. And of course, some would say your timing wasn't great coming to Canada last year with the price of oil dropping through the floor. So mm-hmm. when, when you saw that and you got here and you saw that perhaps the job market was tightening, what went through your mind? Were you thinking, well, I'm in Canada now and I may be underemployed? Yes. Um, I had to go through, through different kind of jobs. So I had to work seven days a week, you know. But it didn't discourage me at all. I mean, I know somehow a lot of folks telling me that it's going to go up sooner or later. It wasn't all that bad. Mm-hmm. I mean, they, they're telling me that the winter was mild. So <laughs> yes, that was a was. good thing, right? <laughs> yes, I mean, it was. Yeah. It wasn't the Philippines, yeah, but it was, was mild. Right it was mild for right Calgary. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, so are you feeling optimistic now, especially since, of course, you signed this offer? 
Sure. I'm ecstatic this morning. You know, I was really happy. Called my wife. Hey, I got this offer right now. And I, I just signed it and sent him back. Yeah. <laughs> you played hardball. That's nice to see. Uh, Michelle, you've got a big graduation party planned at the Petroleum yes, Club tonight. Yes. Uh, how many of your graduates, uh, besides Jan, have uh, already found work in the industry? Uh, well, last count, we were at 12 out of 19 students that are either hired or have received a verbal or written offer. We just counted that a couple of hours ago after one more came in this morning. And, and do you think there's growth in, in this field? Oh, yes. In fact, there's a huge shortage, as I mentioned earlier. Mm-hmm. Earlier, which is one of the main reasons why we created the program, because that's what we do. We respond to those demands in the market. The uh, fact that Jan's offer came through a company outside of our, our group mm-hmm. of partners, all of our partners hired our guys. Wow. They've all hired. They most had offers before the end of the program. And what's happened is many of those organizations have spread the word to other companies. So we've had many other companies cooperating with us and coming in and calling and saying, we heard that you've got some great guys graduating. Can we get in on some interviews? So it's uh, it's sort of that critical mass that we're hitting right now as the graduation occurs tonight. It's I wouldn't be surprised if I get back to the office and hear about more. Yeah, it's very exciting. When does the next session start? And are you still accepting applications? Our applications are ongoing. We take them year-round, and we run information sessions every couple of months based on how many we've got. So, yes, we will be uh, celebrating a lot of success tonight and many, many young men that are going to be... uh, kicking up their heels, I hope. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Letting, they worked very hard, Doug. We're really excited. So, Jan, do you see Canada as a land of opportunity? Yes, I do. That's why we came here. Yeah. And I think this uh, program would help us, just me and my classmates, develop further. I know there, there's a lot of opportunities, especially in the oil patch. But me personally, I like Calgary. So if I can stay here, you know, I just want to stay here and, you know, move further up. I can probably go to, to technical side or management side. Well, it depends. But, sure. But right now I'm focusing and learning more on the operations, really. Well, congratulations, and we'll see what we can do about arranging another mild winter for you. Oh, oh yes. Yes. please, please do. do. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Thank you so much, Thank Doug. You. We really appreciate the time. Jan Marcelita is a graduate of the Fast Track 5th Class Power Engineer and Building Operator Training Program offered by the Calgary Catholic Immigration Society. Michelle Veldhoen helped develop that program.